Dead man walking. <laughs> oh, guys. <laughs> you are evil, woman. Evil. Guess what's happening again? The camera is fogging up. Surprise, surprise. Ah! Oh. Bumblebee tuna. <laughs> she said it was a pretty major surgery. Thanks for reasoning me into it. <laughs> Just get the drugs Are you nervous yet? Just get the drugs pumping. Are you nervous? I'm really looking forward to getting out of my mind. <laughs> Small confession to make. I really like being under general anesthesia. It's awesome. It's about eight seconds of, and then it, the next thing you know, you wake up. So. Hating your life. <laughs> Do you fit in the bed? Not really. Ew. I'm not diseased. You are. <laughs> it's not really for jaw removal, it's for infantigo. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> You texted. Instagram. Hmm. This is a great time to talk about our social media outlets. <laughs> Filming your death walk. Your death roll. Way. It looks so scared. 12, 11, feeling a little woozy. Are yep. you? Yep. Boom. All bye right. bye. Have a nice day. <laughs> Love you too. Well, they just took Corey back for his surgery. I am super nervous for him. I am weak in the knees, I got dry mouth, but I know everything's gonna be okay. His anesthesiologist was super awesome. So he said it's gonna take about five hours and now we play the waiting game. I am like totally way more nervous than he could have ever thought about being nervous. So it's really hard for me to try and like stay calm and keep cool about it because I'm really worried about the recovery and everything, but I know he can do it and I know he's in good hands. So now we wait. The doctor just came and told me that Corey's done with the surgery and everything went okay. The only problem is they kept fighting his breathing tube and when they took him back they said that they were kind of wondering if the breathing tube was going to be an issue because I guess whenever you go up in size it goes up in diameter and they can only go so big because it's got to go through his nose so that means it can only be so long. Anyway, long story short, he came back, he said the surgery went fine, but they fought the breathing tube pretty much the whole time and it, it slowed him down. They're taking him back to the recovery right now and gonna kinda wake him up and then come get me so we get to see him shortly. A little overwhelming for me. I'm better now though. <laughs> They finally let me come in and see Corey, and five minutes into it, I was struggling. I was feeling, you know, a little lightheaded. I started getting sweaty, and I almost passed out. So, and they had to come get a chair for me, and ice, and juice, and food, and so, but I'm better now. I'm over the initial shock factor, but he looks like he's having a hard time. This is not pretty at all, but it's the reality of what has happened. He, um, he's been coughing up a lot of blood and having to suction out his mouth and stuff, but he's finally getting tired. So I'm gonna head home, let him get some rest, and I'm gonna come back in the morning. He's gonna be okay. He's a trooper. And then, he gave me a thumbs up, but I'm gonna get out of here so he can rest because he definitely needs it. Real talk here. When I walked in and I saw Corey, I 
knew right away that I was going to have a hard time seeing him like that. Um, completely helpless. I'm completely helpless. He couldn't talk. He, his eyes were glassed over. He just looked miserable and he was coughing up blood, but he couldn't like cough it up because his jaw was wired shut. I mean, he just looked miserable and there was blood all over his gown and I tried to fight it. Like I tried to act like it wasn't bothering me and I didn't think it was going to bother me. Like I thought I was going to be okay, but I love him so much and seeing him like that really, really affected me. I started sweating and I bent over and put my head between my knees because I knew if I didn't do that, I was seconds away from passing out. I'm his spouse. I'm his wife. I am his wingman. Like I should be there for him and I couldn't keep it together. Like I completely got overwhelmed with everything and I shut down. I almost passed out. It, it's not a good feeling. I feel like I failed him. I think it was just the initial shock of seeing him that way. It's not going to be easy for him. It's not going to be easy for me, but we're a team and we work really well when we work together and that's what we're going to have to do. This surgery is no joke, guys. It's I was not I was not expecting to see him that way and I wasn't expecting to react that way, but it happened and we're gonna get through it together and all of this will not last forever it is short-lived in the grand scheme of the life that we have together and we're gonna get through this together and that's that's what we do because we love each other so if you guys like this video I'm sure it's a hard video to like because of the circumstances or the situation but if you support us like this video by giving a thumbs up down below also, make sure you subscribe because I'm sure, hopefully, you guys want to see how Corey heals and how the progression of all this goes. And also, uh, I'm pretty active on Snapchat. Like, I snap things and um, I post things on Instagram and stuff. So, sometimes things that you don't see on the vlog or you can kind of get the real-time healing aspects of what's going on via Snapchat or Instagram. So make sure you check us out on our social media. The links are going to be in the description below. We've got Facebook, Instagram, Snapchat, and Twitter. Thanks guys for all your support. We really, really appreciate it. There's a game that I've been wanting to play with Lacey for a little while now. What this is, is a staring contest. You guys will see. Bottoms up.